from Khetraspur High School, GM College Rio passed uh, plus two. Uh, GM College Rio gave you passed uh, the commerce become yes. Then uh, you did uh, for industry. You are passed uh, public public administration in 2022. So what have been you have been doing from 2015 to 2022? Actually, after completing my BCom, yes. I. I started a profession of instant photography for some time. Instant photography. Instant photography. That what is providing of the result within five minutes for tourists specifically in Samneswari temple. The visitors uh, they require photograph instantly. So within five minutes we provide them photo. Like Electronic or a print photo? Print photo within five minutes. Right. But uh, then I uh, my interest grew in civil services. Then uh, I have appeared four mains and interview before also in OPSC only. Uh, and due to my interest in civil services, I switched my subject from commerce to public administration in OSC. Did you study in a university? This is a open university. Right? Open, open university. Odisha State Open University. Open university. In public administration because you are interested to be a civil servant. Yeah, civil servant. The area. So you have studied public administration. Tell me, how is public administration different from management in private sector? What are the basic differences? Core aim is different. What in is private, aim? it is normally working efficiently for profit maximization. But in public sphere, the in privately they are working for? They only focus on efficiency, effectiveness and economic nature in order to maximize their profit yes. of their stakeholder. Mm -hmm. But in public, the profit is not only the criteria, the service criteria is the main core uh, difference between private and public and uh, this I believe is a core difference. In public administration to achieve their objectives, you know there is particularly the government uh, government sector, there are certain things you don't follow. Do you know the principles? Yes, uh, various thinkers over the years have provided various principles. The, some of the famous ones are post -op and Henry Fuel's 14 principles of management. Mm -hmm. The post of Luther and Golik. Uh, Luther, uh, Golik and Luther, uh, post -cop, planning, organizing, staffing, directing, uh, post uh, and budgeting, reporting and budgeting. These are the universal flexible principles which are applied in public sector also. What is natural justice? Natural justice, uh, like every, as far as uh, uh, natural justice is con concerned, every people have cert certain natural rights. And uh, that is not the subject. That is natural law we are talking about. What is natural justice? You know, natural justice is a principle which has to be applied in public administration to be to give a fair, you know, kind of a administration. Do you know the principles of natural justice? What is natural justice? Natural justice, uh, for example. Uh, if I can take a guess, I'm not purely sure about mm -hmm. the principles, but uh, I equate it with natural law, like uh, the right uh, right to equality. The no, here, natural justice is a public servant is on many occasions is sitting over the rights, liability of a public individual. So, natural justice in this suggests that you cannot make a decision or a pass an order to the detriment of that man without giving him a chance to hear, without hearing him. You cannot decide on a principle. There are other two to three uh, methods. I mean, equality, equity, natural justice. These are some of the things. This is in uh, public uh, administration. So, tell me, what is the agricultural situation in Orissa, and uh, how much, how much, uh, how many persons are engaged in agriculture? Or their livelihood in the state. Uh, the situation, uh, I, I, I apologize, I, I cannot recall the exact percentage, yeah. but I can uh, say the problems in agricultural sectors. Like, okay. uh, but do you agree that the large number of majority yes, of people uh, uh, are depend on it? As compared to national leverage, it's quite high. So, so what are the problems? Various regions in uh, Odisha are drought prone, prone regions. Mm -hmm. For example, our western Odisha regions 
Sambalpur is also one of the one of such regions. Sir, Hirakud Reservoir. Ah, but uh, the problem of Mahanadi, for example, siltation etc., and the conflict with Chhattisgarh with water sharing uh, has uh, given challenges to those uh, like proper utilization of the, the Hirakud Dam. So uh, that uh, one region is there. The problem of uh, proper irrigations and canal facilities is not uh, to to the last mile, and uh, uh, dependency on only two kind of uh, crops and uh, uh, has led to like uh, seasonal unemployment in various uh, far village reg uh, regions. So these are two three points I can recall. So what do you think that we are having a dispute with Chhattisgarh uh, over? Uh, what is the dispute? What is exactly the dispute? Can you tell me? So as uh, we are the lower riparian, uh, like Odisha, so uh, there has been tribunals, uh, temporary tribunals, but the solution has not reached, and uh, the problem. Which uh, during which the problem, as far as we are concerned in Odisha, relates to which part of the year? Because you know, yes, in uh, monsoon season, yes, a lot of water is drained away from the Akut gates are open. Like that, and but in drought season, not drought. I mean, in lean season yes, when there is no rain, which part of the problem? Whether they are leaving more water or less water? Which so uh, water? there is two side of the problem. During monsoon, uh, there is overflow of water, resulting in uh, flood in various regions. In Katak region also, there has been instances of that. And but uh, during a uh, drought or related season, when there is a scarcity of water, uh, they are holding back for themselves. So. Clear concession, uh, consensus is missing on proper water sharing. So there is a need for permanent tribunal, I believe. To, like, so where is exactly the problem? You know, when Hirakud, we had an agreement with MP. Yes. So the part of the reservoir is also in Chhattisgarh, only are MP. Now, they they have given a guarantee MP <coughs> government that they will release this much of water. Is that a problem? They are not releasing less than that. Or you do not know the details. Some other problems also adding to it, for example, siltation, etc., is creating more problems. I am asking about problem with Chhattisgarh. Oh, Chhattisgarh. Why? Oh, oh. I mean, when is the problem arises? Why Odisha is demanding more? Uh, I tell you, it is mostly in lean season, that is when it is not there. They are providing the water because they are calculating the water flow in the rainy season. This much water they will provide, they have given a guarantee. Madhya Pradesh, they have to follow or reach a action on the table. But in lean season, they are not providing water. So, drying up in the basin, that is the main problem for which we are. But irrigation related uh, problem is occurring in farm. But again, in Hiraku, there is an allegation that a large part of the water which was not provided earlier is from Samalpur only, that they are giving to various commercial companies. What do you have to say about that? How much will be given to commercial companies or that will not be? It was, uh, I think, uh, it's not that big, big of a problem because it, uh, the design is so. But Hirakud uh, electricity will be provided to industrial and commercial. And there are other dams, for example, Chiplima and two more dams, smaller dams. Those are designed to provide for like uh, citizens and people's names. So our need is also being like taken care of as far as I will. Now, this, uh, you know, oh, what is you have talked about, the agriculture and irrigation. What, what do you think is the problem with our industrial policy in Odisha? Uh, normally, uh, uh, industrial policy is normally uh, focused on uh, like uh, uh, like extraction of raw material and raw material based uh, like industry, mining, but, mineral, uh, mining uh, mineral based industry. <laughs> so we are kind of exploiting our resources, but there are other aspects. For, for example, in uh, other dis uh, other states, uh, the service sector is booming a lot, but we are not uh, tapping on that potential till now. For example, uh, in our uh, neighborhood, Hyderabad has been turning into a good uh, center of uh, like IT. IT. So the IT uh, aspect of industrialization we are lacking behind. That one. Manufacturing. Yes. Uh, what is? What, so, uh, what, 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 we are what? like uh, failing in area of providing linkage between market and the producers. For example, in weaver community also they are suffering, Sambalpuri Sadi. So, uh, they are pro pro uh, producing in good strength, but the uh, uh, marketing and the brand creation is missing. But some of the state has utilized this in, uh, in form of cooperative uh, uh, marketing strategy. Uh, so, 
we should follow the same in uh, Odisha. I am reverting to agriculture topic again. You might have heard of that last year. Government had uh, made a policy regarding involvement of corporate sector in uh, agriculture. You know that there was big agitation in. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, then uh, it, it was it, passed. At that uh, it went back uh-huh. on its. What decision. do you think of it in Odisha? Would it have done good or bad for the food of Odisha? It has two sides. Uh, if planned well and executed well, it has potential. But contract farming uh, has the hazardous potential of destroying small farmers. So if that uh, that problem is not a change. Odisha has small farms productive. Mm-hmm. You know? Yes, but they are so normally such. Not by statistics, I tell you, sixty-two percent of the population is producing only twenty-six percent. Yes. One of the causes given is the small holdings. And the pro- productivity is one fourth of Punjab in comparison exactly. to Punjab. Exactly. But they we are already. But in the corporate farming productivity will go up. But but there is like uh, as uh, as they are strong in litigation etc. They can acquire the property in longer run. So uh, the solution can co- came up from community farming, as far as I believe. So, in, in, uh, instead of contract farming, we should go on to community farming where people willingly uh, provide their land to a community and they share the. Who will organize this? So, the government has to play a role and support the government. So, you have completed your graduation in 2015? Yes. Then, post graduation in 2022. Yes. Within these seven years. I think you admitted you got your admission in 2020. In yes. Post. So, the five years. You are engaged in uh, instant yeah, photography. Instant pho- I so, started my own business, but uh, then so I did. How idea came to your mind? I was Without uh, continuing your PG, you are during that period you engaged yourself in instant photography. So, uh, uh, as I am the first in uh, graduate in my family, so the uh, pro education was atmosphere was not such. But during the instant photography, I saw some uh, IAS officer in temple. So I get excited ki that academic area has some potential. So let's give then another chance. So then I came back to civil services. So, so Gangadhar Meher College, GM College. Who is Gangadhar Meher? Sobhav Kavi uh, is famous for uh, showcasing uh, uh, like behavior and emotions in innate subject also. Uh, he has written Tapasvini, like the, how the Masita has struggled. And he has uh, like also showcased uh, the Dasrat, sorry, uh, Ayodhya. He has described how Ayodhya used to be. So he is known as Sabhav Kavi. Like, mm-hmm. So, as Odisha is concerned, can you name the uh, tribal leaders, some of the tribal leaders who take, a, take an active part in the freedom movement of Odisha? Uh, one uh, I can uh, recently in the scheme one name was mentioned Madhav Singh uh, from Western Odisha he has supported Virsuendra Sai so uh, so one name I can remember right now. Okay. Uh, any, other, any other from Sambalpur? Was Madhav Singh a tribal? I think we can say that because he was a leader of like five leader, tribes. But is he a tribal? He particularly was not uh, not, not my tribal, but answer is it correct? You are asked to not be a tribal leader. Madhu Singh was a Khatri or Rajput, that's what he was getting. Yes. So also Surendra Swami. So he represented five tribes. Uh, okay, so I apologize for that. So I uh, like uh, right now I cannot recall. I, okay. From Kurapur, a tribal leader, he participated. Yeah. Right now, I cannot recall. I would like I to talk about Lakshmanai. Lakshmanai, I am aware. Yes, yes. Uh, he uh, gave his life uh, and uh, on false accusations also of murdering a, uh, like a security guard. But he has done a lot. Forest guard. Sorry, uh, security guard in forest. Sorry, uh, forest guard. So, uh, and who name was he? Uh, right now, I cannot recall the name, but uh, yes, Ramay. I have heard about him. So how you can uh, utilize your expertise of public administration? You have done your PG in public administration. And how you can utilize in uh, pro- solving the problem of the common people? As actually, pro- after com- the common people. <laughs> actually, after completing uh, PG, I paid for NET and JRA. And now I'm pursuing my PhD in governance and specifically e-governance. I'm learning some new techniques 
like how the artificial intelligence and blockchain technology can be merged with governance process like already we have seen in 5t also there was a mention of technology we have seen seeing various portals but the new technology for example blockchain can be utilized in tender tender issues in e tender area to provide more security and data uh, like uh, like more security against data theft etc so as i am reading more and more papers on those like how technology can be helpful so i will uh, utilize those knowledge along with the training i will receive so i will try to merge those both worlds so far as odisha state is concerned and it's uh, what is the role of madhusudan gopabandhu and gajapati in making odisha a separate province so uh, madhusudan gopabandhu and uh, gajapati uh, this trinity has provided an, an uh, identity to odisha uh, starting from uh, like uh, unifying on the basis of language uh, that uh, barrister uh, like the old grandman uh, madhusudan his vision was that though although no he did not live to see the independent odisha but he laid a foundation which was followed by gopabandhu uh, during gandhian era and uh, then the gajpati king uh, was named the first prime minister in 1936 so during prajamandal movement also the gajpati had many role to play so this trinity has provided a cultural identity and independence to odisha state thank you okay have you visited any longer yes Uh, like I have visited uh, collectorate, collectorate. Yes, and also uh, like uh, during my school time for protest, I have visited. But recently, my friend uh, is uh, sel- recent. Any recent visit? Uh, as uh, he is selected as commissioner in municipal corporation of uh, Sambalpur, so I visited him in his office last month. What was the protest? If it is just personal, uh, just uh, for the tips regarding uh, i twice visited how to write good mens uh, he checked my copy and uh, provided tips on like be confident be yourself natural so mock uh, like interview regarding tips let's say you, you you uh, want to uh, you visited the collector's office and uh, he did not meet you immediately he made you wait for let's say five hours how do you respond to that situation so first we must accept that there is already a lot of burden on government officers so at just our will we cannot demand them to be uh, like to meet with us but uh, i would like to know the reason behind and i would like to reschedule if there was genuine reason to uh, my appointment to next day or some next like preferable time so i would be like first i would like to receive the accurate information so to take take a better decisions about the situation that's uh, there is a let me give you another scenario you have uh, you plan to visit to a doctor private doctor you have paid the consultation fee that's a thousand rupees is the consultation fee and your appointment time was 11 am in the morning but the doctor is not available or at 11 am the doctor made you wait for 5 hours how do you respond so as this i have paid for like this so and also my time has its own values so i would like to submit my grievances if there is any feedback mechanism if not i will try to suggest them to include one and i will give a feed, feedback that uh, it should be changed so do you mean that when you pay then only that the time has value in no electoral no. office you did not pay so you will succumb to that situation as this was a specific elaborated situation but in collector office i was not aware of about the region like uh, and i was not like had i taken a prior appointment etc so i was not about uh, about those uh, de- detailed information that's why i told you i will try to get more information in that situation to take a better decision okay you know okay you have uh, you are doing photography you said instant photography so i used to do you used to do so uh, you know switching over from instant photography to government uh, job or public administration or whatever it is it will require a little more convincing convincingly you must uh, explain that uh, you know what you said is that in family there are no little education maybe a business family looks like a little But today, business families are highly educated. That 
you, you come to contact. So say that, you know, that looks like a little bit of uh, uncooked lump there. So it can, it can be better explained if you can. Uh, plan it out. Whatever experience you have, that uh, this thing uh, you want to better explain. A possible explanation can be something like this. But thereafter, you know, I am from a business background, straight away, say from business family. But after I, uh, after I passed my become you passed my yes. After I passed my become, I started a business of photography. That will be to look uh, more convincing business of photography. But gradually, I have many friends who are in uh, government service and this and that. Or you, I came in contact with them, and I, uh, I, I was attracted to the. Uh, public service, I think I can do much better in public service by hel helping various uh, persons. So I studied public administration to make myself candidate, this and that. It, when you speak, separate uh, disjoint disjointed between these two. Try to iron it out. That is one advice I would give it to you. Then the second point is when you are answering something, uh, slow if you get make you answer a little slower than what you are doing. Take it is something like a blabbering in it, whatever, something. So that, that feeling is there. Be a little slower. Listen to the question very carefully, very carefully. And give exactly that amount of answer that you need to Don't add, subtract, this, that kind of thing. That will answer them. Knowledge. Your knowledge about Orissa, its history, its art, this and that. Maybe give us into when is the truth? Fifth of October. Fifth eh? of October. Oh, it's quite a uh, bit of a time is there. Odisha's art history is associated with Tamil Nadu. Same thing in India's problem. Why the problems which is there over all over India? Like Me Too, Lady issue that is going on and they call them something may come up. Any other <laughs> development that may take up. Internationally, you know, there are various wars going on which you may be aware. India's relationship with Pakistan and China. In this is a little bit of general knowledge. And uh, when they ask you about a controversial topic in which there can be two views, do not jump to give a view yourself. You say that A is saying this, B is saying this kind of a thing. Uh, so uh, that is 